Hey guys, this is Mani Karthik here. I'm a blogger from India and this video tutorial series I'll help you understand and use one of my favorite SEO tools, SEM Rush. This is a software that many bloggers and companies use to make sure they are doing well with search engine optimization. I hope you know already what search engine optimization is, but for those of you who don't know, it's the process of tweaking and optimizing your website in order to make your website show on Google search results and thereby get the traffic you need. But it's not so easy to get started with a software like SEM Rush for the first time. Since I've been using this tool for a couple of years now, and since many of you have been asking me how to do SEO with it, I thought I'll share some of my workflow with you. So in these short videos, I'll show you how to do each and everything with SEM Rush so you can use it for your projects as well. So if you like my content, make sure you like, share and subscribe and that bell thing too. If you intend to buy SEM Rush, I have some promo codes available which might fetch you a discount. So I'll share the links in the description and in the video. So let's get started with today's episode. So let's take a look at how to use the keyword magic tool in SEM Rush. You can find the keyword magic tool towards your left hand menu under keyword research right over here. When you click on it, basically you get asked which keyword you want to research on. So what you need to do is type in a keyword there. So I'm going to type how to, you can choose which country you want to get your results from and you click on search. And basically what this does is SEM Rush will now show you all the keywords related to or containing that particular keyword from that particular region. So in this case, this is Google US and it'll show me all the keywords with or containing how to in them. So you can see how to register to vote, how to screenshot on Mac, how to tie a tie, so on and so forth. And each of these keywords will have a search volume associated with it, the trend, the keyword density, the cost per click, competition and the results in search engine results pages. So, so this is an excellent way to get insights into which are the new keywords that you need to optimize for or create content for. Quick tip, if you wanna rename your list, you can come over here, click on rename list and change the name to whatever else you want and it'll get renamed. And that's an excellent way to keep tab of all your searches. And I suggest you use keyword magic tool to find new keywords or optimize your existing content for new keywords. I hope you found that video useful. If you have any questions, let me know in comments. See you in another video.